Yes, this is the best of its kind in this nation, Nigeria. You know, driving is a very serious business. It's a profession. So that is why we are coming up with this. We believe that every human being is supposed to know how to drive. What we are bringing to you is a driving school. Very simple. Anywhere you are in the world, you want to learn how to drive, this video is for you. So all you need to do is this. Subscribe to all our social medias so that anytime we drop a video, you will be notified. So I can go there and continue your course. I tell you, after this, uh, you watch our video, all you just need to do is to go to any nearby um, driving school and do your practical. To just do your practical. Don't worry if you have a car now or not. There is going to be a refresher courses to keep your memory. See, you don't need to have a car before you know how to drive. You can help anybody. You can help anybody. As this teaching continues, I will give you a story along the line. How somebody helped me when I was traveling to worry. After we met Amroba, after robbing us and all that, I couldn't drive. So the policemen were so kind to be stopping every incoming vehicles until after they stop three or four vehicles before they see one of them who can drive. So that person now drove us to worry. So that is, I've also seen a scenario where a pregnant woman was in labor. The husband was not around. So a nearby neighbor who can drive just helped the woman to the hospital. And the baby and the woman was alive. So because of this reason, there is a lot of things that everybody must know how to drive. So all you need to do now is this. We are going to be dropping this uh, teaching in four batches. For now, in four batches. So this is the first one. You are going to subscribe to all our social media so that any time we are dropping the continual ones, then you will be notified about it. So, there is one for Lena. There is one for those who are driving already for you to know more about how to avoid accident, uh, security driving, safety on the road, and so on and so forth. Then the other one will talk about the road sign. There are many signs that you see out there, you don't know the meaning. With this teaching, you're going to know everything. All right, now. We're going to be, after the driving, uh, the, the learner, corner, the prof how to be a professional driver, the road sign, then we will now start talking about the security driving. In case you meet all these people on the road, what you are going to do and all that. And how to be friendly with the uh, officers of the law on the road, because you know sometimes you cannot be free from them. So everything is now about fighting and all that. So the remaining one is kept with us in case people call us to come and train their drivers in the company, schools, and so on and so forth. There are ones that we cannot put on social media. So that one is for us to gain what we, we have inside of us. That is what people are going to pay for. So you really need this training from A to Z. So don't, don't go far from us. Stay glued to all our social media so that you can know how to be a professional driver, not just a driver. We have a lot of drivers out there, but they are not professional. So you must be a, a professional driver. Follow us as we continue this journey. God bless you. See you then. This is automatic. On this now, before you start automatic, make sure it's on park, where the right P. So it must be there before you start automatic. If not, if it's not there, the vehicle will not start. Then on automatic as well, we have D. D is for drive. N is for neutral. Y arrow is for reverse. Then on automatic, we have one, 
we have two, even there are some vehicles that have three. So those one, two, three, they have functions. Instead of you putting it only drive, you can also use that one to drive. You can also use two to drive. You can also use the three to drive. Like this one now, you see, it has two. It's like on manual, when you put it on gear one, the vehicle have enough power to move. So if you are to drive automatic, it's not only drive. If you put it on one, it moves. It has power to move. Now you just put it on drive. So those are there are still a lot of things you need to know about automatic. So when we get to manual, I will get to show you all that. So when you use your seat belt, then you can now put your vehicle on drive or the two itself. Then you can move. You see as it moves now. So even if it's dry, it will still move, but it will not sharp as that to move. So that is what you need to know about automatic. And whenever you want to reverse, you must you must not don't use your side mirror to reverse. It's always advisable you put your gear at the reverse then you turn yourself like this face your back then you continue to move so that is the one for reverse as your car is running, as you start into the morning, you check all your lighting system. This is manual. So as you can see here now, we have the, the tracing here. This is the clutch by the left. This is the brake, the middle. Then this is the accelerator or the turtle at the right side. So this is a manual. Then this is the gear lever. So before you start this one in the morning, this manual, you will have to draw your hand brake. This is the hand brake. You draw it up like this. Then you, you this is the gear lever. You make sure the thing is free like this before you start. If not, if it's in gear, you will always you will move front and it may hit another vehicle. Then you free it like this. So far you have the hand brake working. Then you start. So when you start in the morning, you allow the vehicle to steam for some time before accelerating in case the oil pump is not working well. If it uh, if it's circulates well before you accelerate, the longer you're doing that, the longer your engine lasts before smoking. So as you start like this now, you allow it to steam for some time before accelerating. Then. This is reverse at the back. When you, as that thing is free, just now the lever is free, you push it to this side, then you push it back. That means reverse. Then you now carry your hand brake down. Meanwhile, your leg is still on the brake. Then you turn yourself like this because you want to reverse. Yeah, you're not looking at your back. Then as you are going, you start removing your leg from the clutch. Start releasing it a little by little. As you are releasing it, then you are putting fire. So this is the clutch. Before you put it on the gear, you clutch it down very well. While you hold the brake down. Then you will now push it to the back. It has entered reverse now. Then you will now remove your, hand, your leg from the 
brake, put it on the accelerator. Then as you are start, as you are putting fire, or you are accelerating small, small, or little by little, then you start removing your leg from the clutch. So the vehicle will start going back. To be going back. So when the vehicle go back, then you now remove your leg completely. Sometimes it's good to learn a vehicle or learn driving with manual. If you can drive manual, automatic is nothing. So if you learn with automatic, to drive manual will be a problem for you. You can be of help to somebody tomorrow. That is why you need to learn the truth. So we we'll also teach you now how to move front also. So it's on the one now. So when you are moving, you start releasing the clutch little by little, then accelerate. You can see the vehicle is moving. So when the vehicle now properly move, then you now remove your leg. You now move like that, that. You now remove your leg from the clutch completely. Then you start accelerating. Then you have to be very careful because the vehicle will want to be faster. As a learner, you don't need to be fast. You have to cool down and drive gently. Then as the vehicle is going, 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 you will now hear the sound of the engine that ah, you, you need to change your gear to gear two. Then you will now clutch down the gear very well then and put it to your side, then come back. Will enter gear two. So, one you clutch down this is gear one. If you want to go to gear two, you clutch down again, you come to your side, you would always push it to this side. Then, this is gear two now. So, if you want to go to gear three, you clutch down again, this is gear three, middle like this. So, if you want to go to gear four, you clutch down again, you just come straight like that. To the front. So if you are to select gear five, then you now uh, free your gear again. Then go to the other end. So that is gear five. So as a learner, you are not supposed to go more than gear two for now, until when your hand is strong and you are perfectly okay. That is when you can now say, okay, you enter express. And as a learner entering express, you need somebody by your side. You must not carry more than two people in your vehicle. It's a driving offense. So in Nigeria, I know they don't care about it, but it's very, very important. I'm advising you. And another thing I want to tell you, do not use reverse to enter express. A street that is busy, don't use reverse to enter. Except if there is somebody controlling the traffic for you. And sometimes I see advice that is not 100% okay because there are some vehicles that their brake is not in good order. And you cannot guarantee brake. Brake can fail at any time. So you have to be conscious of your driving. Think of yourself and think of others. So thank you very much as you abide to all the rules, then let's make this nation great. And there is going to be seminars coming up. Anytime there is a seminar, we we'll make sure that we put the advert. But if you need any assistance, don't fail to call us. We will always be there for you because our own focus is to make sure that we reduce accident on our road. Everybody is a professional. A driving is not a, a, a driving is a professional. As we have banker as a profession, that is how we have driving as a profession. So don't just drive on the road because you can control your steering. There are a lot of things which is not in this, uh, what we bring out for you now that we help you a little bit. There is a lot of things you need to know about driving, about the car, about the road, about the traffic rules and all the other things. So whenever you need us, make sure you call on us. So thank you very much and God bless you.